Maybe I should keep this dress. You literally wear that strap every time. Like no, I know, but like if you, you look wear. at it up close, it's like pulling in a weird way. Like I'd have I to see get what the you're straps saying, like, but redone. Like, no, you wouldn't. It's, it's like, like not fine. correct. It's not correct, and I've already worn it once. When in a calendar shoot, no one bought that. Yeah, it was sold out. All two hundred. I'll put the picture here. No, maybe I will keep it and just read the straps. But the point is, is that I am doing a, a new endeavor, I'll call it, because eBay literally, I moved you guys. I have a bunch of shit. I'm a hoarder. True or false? It's, it's psychotic. It's psychotic, you guys. I have a fucking problem and I'm trying to get help. No, her name's Chachki for a reason. Like, it's a little bit crazy. No, it's sick. If I feel sad, I buy stuff. Oh, and she I have was, a shopping addiction. And Violet was out of town when she was moving, and I moved her into her house with the movers. And I was sitting there, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is not possible." No, you guys, like, even the movers were like, "I've never seen this much stuff." Also, does anyone have a friend that would do that out there? Sit while your friend's out of town. Thank you for helping me move in my time of need. I appreciate that. You're welcome. No gore. Hey everyone, it's me, Violet Chachki, the D-O-double-L. And I'm Got Mick. And you're watching another episode of No Gorge. As I was saying, um, I am a hoarder and I have a serious hoarding problem and um, a shopping addiction, dare I say. And I am selling, I'm trying to sell a bunch of my stuff because I'm unpacking my new house and I'm like, where should I put this hot pink flame be custom beaded sequin dress I never will wear ever again and I'm like literally nowhere get rid of that get rid of that simplify your life get rid of your things like you don't need these worldly possessions so I'm launching my own shopping Instagram where you can shop my closet and please help me control my shopping addiction and my hoarding problem and this was gonna be one of the items that was up for sale but now that I'm seeing it on me it's and now you've already worn it. Too good, though. But, like, it might be, like, an archival. See, this is what I'm talking about. I have a well, fucking when she problem. Pull, when she pulled it out, like, I have stuff that I need, like, looks for. And she pulled that out. And I was like, this is literally exactly what I need. You and do she's not like, wear pink. I wear spooky flame shit. I would wear pink if it looked like that. It's so cute. And I was like, uh, don't wear that right now because I will literally buy that off of you. And do it. She's like, and she was like, oh my God, no, it's so ill-fitting. Like when I put it on, you're going to see it's like sick in the head. And she puts it on. It's like the most gorgeous fitted thing she's ever worn. And now she's talking to you guys. And she's like, custom sequined. Oh, fuck me. It's like literally the most perfect dress. It's one of your like most perfect dresses I've ever seen you wear. Well, the straps are a little wonky. And, I, and it's like, the thing about me is if I'm going to really do drag, I got to be excited about the outfit. And that's why I added this disgusting boa. It's not disgusting. It's just ill-colored. It doesn't match. It doesn't go. It doesn't go. Get it out of here. Is that better? Is that less draggy for you? Do you feel better? It is less draggy. No, I was like, I was like, are you gonna bring a custom backdrop next time? Like, so you're like in a field, like literally behind you to match the outfit. Yeah, I was like, Magnus Hastings is gonna like, take Jesus it. Jesus Christ! Kind of literally, I was like, oh my god. I'm having a fucking sale. It's at shop underscore violets underscore closet on Instagram. That was the best username you could get. Shop dot underscore dot. There's, I didn't say dot. Would Did you, I say dot? I think so. No, it's shop <laughs> underscore violets underscore closet. There is nothing else. No. Everyone has. There's so many Babe, violets. Violet's a common name and shop closet is a common. What are you talking about? <laughs> with a K. Instagram has been around for fucking what like. About violets with a, closet. With a K. Why mm -hmm. a K? Because it's like the Kardashians. So more people will click it. Is that how that works? Wow. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm so out of the loop. On I don't know. We need to get like a 19 year old in here. Where did you just get back from today? Well, yeah, I know a few weeks ago, Violet was um, on stage with Madonna. And then I just got back from being on stage with Madonna. Today. If Madonna calls, you fucking answer. Yeah, no, but I flew in. I didn't even talk. I was like, my schedule was so crazy. Like, first of all, you guys, I'm a Delta diva through and through. 
We both are. Yeah, no, I have to fly like, Sky Team. Sorry. Like Delta is my doll. Sorry. Like, and I also was we have talking to fly about Sky this team. with other people, and it's like a good way to like get people's vibes. Like, what airline do you fly with? If you're not Sky Team, we are no, not compatible. No, there was someone We're I was talking compatible. to that I really liked the other day, and she was like, Oh my God, I am American through and through. And well, I was like, what If the you live fuck? in Chicago, is she from Chicago? No, but she goes back and forth from New York to LA a lot. And she said it's like her vibe. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I always fly Delta, but then like I had to fly this other airline to get to Madonna. Which airline? United. <gasps> I know. Dun, dun, dun. And I'd never flown United. Have you? Um, is that the one where you have to like fight for your seat? No, that's Southwest. I flew Southwest I'd to Drag Race. I'd rather fucking fly Southwest, bitch. Like, you literally pull up to United, <laughs> and it's like, no one works there. It's like, only computers. Computers. Like, you have to do your own bags. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. I so hate, like, we talk about that, too. Because you have to do your own bags, there's a line for you to do your own work. So I'm like... Okay, that's fine. I'm on like, my way to go sit. And the people in front of you don't know how yeah. to scan it. And I'm like, and I'm in. on my way to like go sit with Madonna. It's gonna be great. Like I'm just gonna be positive. I'll wait in this line. Then I get there, whatever. Like so hard. It's just so fucking hard. And then it's like Why? number two. It's it's scan just, your passport and print the tags out. No. Well, you would. I've think. never done it. I refuse to do the machine. There's machines. like not a lot of options, so it's just like do it. Then I wait in another line to drop the bag. Mm, the bag drop line. Then they're like, oh, it's overweight. You have to go back. No. Yes. You're kidding. No. And I'm like, there's not a scale at the the original place. I mean, gorgeous. You would think. I've never. Yeah, I've never been there. Maybe I there's, refuse. Maybe if there's I'm a paying, communal scale. I don't bitch, fucking know. But if I'm, like, I'm paying a premium. You would need to print my boarding pass, peel the sticker off, put the sticker on the sticker, put my bag on the trolley. It was crazy. And then like, babe, and what is this? So I'm like, OK. And then she's the like, robots so are going to go over. back there and then find someone in a vest. And then they're going to tell you that it's overweight and they're going to be able to change it. So I'm like looking for someone what? in a vest. No. Yes. You're making was, this up. No, I swear. It was so crazy. And I was like, OK. Oh, what kind of vest? Like a, I don't know. A that vest was vest. disgusting. Yeah, it was not a cute vest. It was just like a normal like. Was it like was highlighter it, yellow? Would you say it was like giving was construction there flare on it? I don't know. And they were no, working. no, no. It wasn't cute. It was oh. not Delta. It was very it was just like not a Zach fucking Posen like. Vest. No, it was like a construction worker vest. And then I like found someone, and then they like they're like, okay, it's like gonna be a million trillion dollars. And I was like, great, like perfect. You can just like move some things around. I only brought one back. You didn't have a backpack. No. No tote. Nothing. No duffel. Well, my tote was full of a wig. Full of a wig. Yeah. You brought that disgusting wig with you, didn't you? It's so cute. Go get it. Oh my god, no, I'm not. She that. draggy drag. There's a wig that you have that has paillettes hot glued to it. Okay, True literally. Or False. True it has, or false. It has silver sequins and rhinestones on the sequins. It's super cute, but it's just. It's draggy. It's just squared, so it's hard to match. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, that was the worst experience of my life. I paid a million dollars and had to do all the work and loves it. I, like, get in. It's like, <laughs> loves not, it for sure. Like, there's just no vibes. There's like, no Delta, vibes. Delta, like, gives you vibes. Like, it's like colors and no, things. And like, I will say the other day, we, we, we were going to Denver for my, when I did Madonna, we flew Delta. The way the lounge is the best, the Delta Lounge at LAX, you guys, best breakfast I've had in my whole life. Delta's just the only Babe, option. The croissants, the the eggs, the frittatas, Girl. the bacon, no, oh. the selection of breads and cheeses. I'm telling you guys, that's we should just go to there for like they I've, should I've, they should have a drag brunch there. I've attention to this pre-flight safety announcement from Glamazonian Airways. Welcome to Glamazonian Airways. Posted that the Delta Sky Lounge is my favorite, favorite restaurant. restaurant like, it's so like, turned. That lounge with the outdoor area? I know. Are you kidding me? Uh, the know. way that I would work that patio during a drag brunch? Oh, tree. I would clean up. That'd be cute. Delta, but hit us up. Like the Delta Lounge drag brunch Imagine going. Like, oh my god! That would I will be the vibe. do. I'll do free drag brunch just for a 360 membership. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, t if you guys work at Delta, like push this up to the higher ups. Um, we gotta get this popping. But yeah, so then I like get through, and I'm like, it's fine. Like, da -da -da, it's gonna be fine. Did you have lounge access? There like wasn't a lounge. Like it was so barren. Like barren. it was. Yes. 
Was it there was a, just like nothing going on. Was there a Shake Shack? Was it that I, terminal? I don't even remember what there was, but it was just like so bad. Like at least American has like American flags and it's like very like American. And I'm like, ew. American. And I'm like walking and I'm like, ew, but it's like still a vibe. Like United just like nothing. Like United and what? What are we United being sad? The air. Like, no, it was so weird. And then I get on the plane sick in the head and why then, is that sick in the head okay, what the plane was just Describe like not cute in i'll like... insert pictures there's like the like front thing was like <laughs> it looked like captain jack sparrow knit the thing in front of me it was like woven that could be a from vibe, like though. it was scary who's that guy we like who did the knit bags i have no idea london guy really good up-and-coming designer david como david como did really fabulous knit bags. yeah no these were not david como bags <laughs> on the thing okay it was like disgusting and then and then, oh my God, this was the piece de resistance. I should ask him. So like literally there's like a screen and I'm like tapping it and I'm like, oh, it's not working. Like it must be like a thing. Like, I don't even know. It was just like, it must be like they're blocking the screens until you fly. You know how sometimes airlines do that. They're like, no, I yeah. hate, I don't get that. They're like, blinds up, unplug everything. I'm like, no, what do you say? Like, trip yeah. over my iPod cord? Like, yeah, what? no, the woman next to me was like, oh, sorry. Like. I'm fucking with your screen. I was like, what? It's a remote on my thing and it's direct TV and it's live. So you You're can't. You're kidding. No, you can't watch any movie. You can't do anything. It's literally only if it's on schedule. So I'm like, okay. So it's like from 1 30 to 2. I can't. Like, I haven't da, da, da. watched live and television. I know. Since I was at a bar watching Drag Race. I know. And I'm like, okay. Like, so gotta get to the bar to watch Logo, like, in 2016. When I was, like, little, Not I, even, 2015, I remember going, 14. like, traveling to, like, somewhere and the whole plane would have to watch, like, the same movie. Right, right. Like, I remember that. So I was kind of thinking it was that vibe. I was like, oh, it's like, these are the movies. We're already playing them. Like, get into it or get lost. No. It was literal channels. They probably have a deal with and then it was TV. Like, it was like Anna Karenina. I was like, okay, I like Anna Karenina. I click it. It's not the remake. It was the 1932 version with fucking Greta Garbo. Well, like in black and like, Greta. I couldn't because it was halfway through. She's already sick in bed. Like I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I can't even get into 1932 Greta Garbo. Did, like, well, was Greta turning it out in bed or no? Babe, I saw that it wasn't the remake of Anna Karenina and I went, you're kidding. And then I was like, whatever, I'll get into it. And I'm like, seeing that the next movie was like Teenage New Mutant Ninja Turtles starting in 30 minutes. I'm like, so this is the end? Like, I'm not going to ruin it. So you didn't? No. So I switched it. And then I went to like TV. And then I ended up watching like some TV show. And there was commercials. Wow. Your life is hard. I mean, girl, if you're paying for a fucking airline ticket... <laughs> They should have on-demand entertainment. Me I agree. Look, I think it's I'm better team, to I'm give the you. whole plane one movie than fucking be like, tune in if you can with commercials. Like, what? I was like, what are we talking about? And then I like, I'm very like, when I get on a plane, I'm very like to myself, like hoodie, like get like just in my zone. That's my like me time. I even turn to the woman next to me. I go, do you fly here a lot? And she goes, come here often? Literally. And she was like, sometimes so I go, I don't like it. <laughs> you and, did that? Yeah, and she was like... If I was the person, I'd be like, why are you talking to me? She would loved it. She, was she a, loved she it. She was a school teacher. <gasps> mm -hmm. What grade? Uh, I don't... I didn't ask. What? Yeah. How are you going to start a conversation with a bitch and then not well, continue Well, because she it? was a talker, so she was like... Oh, she, she, was, she was going... She was like, she girl, bang, I'm bang. on my way to my, my grandkids' trip. We're going on a Disney cruise. We're going here. We're going there. A I was Disney like, cruise in Houston? And she's like, me and my husband love doing kids' stuff. It's so fun. That's why it's good oh for me to be a teacher. Oh, my God. Not a Disney And then adult. she goes, but now my passion is being retired. I was like... Oh, That's not what I thought you were going to say. Love you. Like, that might be her my passion. passion is being retired. Yeah, maybe. What was her look giving? Um retired school teacher or no it was like she was wearing those like rock climbing looking shoes that's all i remember with the toes <laughs> yeah with the no toe. no no with the toes like the ones that have like it's kind of like strapped up the side you, like, so, pulled like, the string of a with the rubber toe mm. i just remember Active. seeing that and i was like wow you must be doing so many things so what else did this prophet divulge well, i got off the plane and i was just like Oof, i'm a delta like i'll do anything to stay on delta i'll do Anything for like, Delta. I even You're went, a Delta simp. Mm-hmm. A simp. Like what I is literally, a simp again? What does that got, stand for? I don't know. I thought it was just like a word. I saw an acronym. I think it's just a word. Sympathize? It must be short for sympathize. It's just simp and it says a silly or foolish person. Wow. 
period. Mm. Well, silly and foolish for sure for Delta. Yeah, I love it. I just like can never leave them. And I like didn't really learn that how hardcore I ride or died for them until this experience. I was like, well, you know what? When I was flying back from Paris the other day, people were my like little cubby was like by the little like bathroom curtain snack area. And there were like 10 French dudes. Not kidding. The entire 10 hour plane ride standing around the little snack counter bar area Chitty chatty bang bang. I have standing, had that. stretching, kicking, like acting as if we're at the pub. Well, I was I've like, had that before too. I've go even lay down in your cubby. I forgot like a where good I was boy going. I was going somewhere like really weird, and so like the people were just like, like I don't know if they'd never like flown before. Like it was just like giving like a weird vibe of like. The energy of the plane was just like off. The energy of the plane was off for sure. And people were like, the you second were it, it was like, ding, like a seatbelt, everyone was like, <laughs> and like <laughs> running around, like sitting on each other's laps. Like, and I'm not even exaggerating. Sitting on each no, other's like laps. everyone knew each other, sitting on each other's laps. Um, it was a wedding. They were all going to fucking then, Costa Rica. And then for people would go up to like where the like snack area would and be like undoing the thing. No. Yeah. Like uh, the latches. That's illegal. I think so too. But I was watching, I was like, I was supposed to be a joke. And I was sitting next to Candy. That's scary. I was sitting next to Candy Muse. playing with those dongles, they could be fucking... I always think about the door, how it's just right there. Scary. And you can... The lever is right there. Someone tried to do that recently. I saw that on, like, the news. But can you... I don't really get how that, like... Is that how... Like, could I literally... If I wanted to... Yes. I just go up to that lever and be like... And it would just be like... That's insane. Are you ever driving and you're like, I could just crash my car into this wall right now? Oh, I think Do about doing that all the time. those thoughts Sometimes when I'm playing, oh, I'm Mulholland, like... I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Mulholland Drive for sure. When I have to, when we're in Beverly Hills and I have to go to your house through the hills, I'm like... we I could just, just drive Ehh. off. But I always think, I'm like, oh, in that one second, we'd be like, damn it. <laughs> like... Wow, it just got so dark. But also, you guys, I'm going through it with my eyes, which is why I keep touching it, because I was just like, no sleep. Let's just tell the truth. You're what? hungover. I'm not hungover. You're fucking hungover. I'm not boots. hungover. You're hungover boots. She went out. You went to Madonna. You did the little tense thing that everyone's doing. You rah rah. You kiki. You you posted a story. You tagged me in a story with Mistress Isabella Brooks. I, I was in in my bed at two in the morning, and it's like bloop, got mixed. And I'm like, oh cute. And then it's you guys being like, you can fucking never. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Full well knowing you have a 7 a.m. flight back to L.A. to land. Six. 6 a.m. flight back to L.A. from Houston to get in drag and sit your ass right in that chair and do what we're doing right now. Yeah. And I was like, Mm-mm, not good. Not good. And then the next story was detox blowing vape smoke out of her nose. <laughs> I was like, this is out of control. Also, I'm obsessed with like, the No Gorge episode from like two weeks ago when you did Madonna. You're like bless you madonna this was the best experience of my life i'm honored did we now, talk about now, it yeah we did a few weeks ago and then now it's me and you're like that little vogue thing that you did that everyone's doing <laughs> like, fuck you <laughs> but when you do it i was a blessed honor queen I, uh, that, roll the I, tapes like, roll the fucking tapes bitch well tell us about madonna how was your experience it was so good i mean it was so fun i literally like what was your favorite song i like when she's in the box <laughs> Okay, she has a few songs in what the box. What songs does she do in the box? Does she like hung up in the box? No. What does she do in the box? She does Festa, she does Ray of Light. Ray of Light. I liked that part <laughs> when she's in the box. When I can't even get I can't even believe. Like we just grew up differently. But yeah, so it was a really fucking amazing experience. I mean Madonna had like a really cute time. We just like vibed it out. Well, you're both Leos and I've I've learned a lot. About Leo's from yeah. being with you and watching her on stage, I'm like, yep, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yep. yeah, yeah. The the behaviors are parallel, <laughs> dare I say? I would agree. And the way that you have to like suck y'all's dicks a little bit, <laughs> like you just have to like suck Madonna's dick a little bit. Same and even me. I try to suck, and she's like, Mm-mm-mm. same with me. With you, you gotta suck the dick a little bit. You gotta, and it's the lion. It's the proud lion. Well, it's also like protective. I'm like, I'm not going to give it away for like anyone. But if you suck my dick a little bit, come on in. Come on in, but come here. (laughs) Come here. Come here. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So it was amazing. I had the best time and uh, it was so fun. Well, 
so what did Mistress Isabella Brooks have to say? Why did you tag me in that story? Tell me. There's got. I haven't caught up. What's the tea? What's going on? What's oh, she up to? Why well, was she, she there? What club were you at? Tell me everything. She like. Uh, I posted that I was doing the Madonna thing, and then she responded to it and was like, "Um, where are you going?" And I was like, "Are you in Houston?" And she's like, she "I live there. here." Yeah, I didn't know. And I was like, "Oh my god, let's go out!" And she was like, "So down." Literally drove. We went to the Eagle. There's she, an Eagle in Houston. Mm-hmm. Your was, Eagle tour, did you get merch? I fucking didn't. Because you dumped them. I know, and I forgot. I like collect Eagle merch from around the world because I love We got to go to Eagle Tokyo. I would die. I bet. We saw someone in the Eagle Tokyo merch the other day, and I was pissed. But yeah, no, this was like not giving like Eagle vibes, so I don't think my brain triggered to be like, get the merch. It was very like There wasn't poppy, a fucking girly. chain spider web no. thing to get your climb on? No. Yeah. It was very like girly fun vibes, so I was like, oh. But then Mistress, like, fully, we had the best time, like, so funny. Like, I just, like, put the camera on her, and she was, like, grabbing her face. like, Violet could never. And I was, like, oh. It's, like, it was just fun. And then she literally, oh, like. Well, ju- I think I could. I think I will. I think I do. I think that's a joke. I don't think it's very funny, Mistress Isabella Brooks. Are you from the house of Brooks? Um, Is Nicole your aunt? <laughs> but she also then drove me home, like, so cute. Like, love her. And then we talked so about- So she was drinking and driving? No. She was just driving. But- <laughs> I think I saw a cocktail in the story. Did you wait an hour? We never even drank. But- You're a fucking liar. No. Baby, in the South, you drink and drive. Oop, <gasps> said it out loud. Uh-uh. Said it out loud. Uh-uh. I said it out loud. Don't this do that. This is controversial. Don't Children, do don't do this. This is bad. Don't do that. I was very bad when I was a kid. Have you, we've already been over this, but you've never been arrested or anything, right? Mm-mm. Have you stole, you used to steal, we used to steal. No. You did never stolen. Never stole anything. Privileged. Uh. Bitch, I would rob the gap <laughs> down. <laughs> I Zach would, Posen's pissed. We would go, bitch, <laughs> Zach, I, it should be full circle. I want Winona, Winona Ryder it and be in the campaign next. Yeah, 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 literally. Like Mark Jacobs. There was like a shopping center in the suburbs called The Avenue and there was like a Barnes & Noble, a Gap, a Macaroni Grill, a Victoria's Secret, like a few other little, like a Francesca's Accessories, if you know what that is. And the I way do. that me and my friends would go there with full backpacks and tote bags, whatever we could get our hands on. Oh, yeah. I had to be like 14 or 15. I think I'm too much of a yapper. Like I'm always talking. Like you can't. I'm not like one to be like get in and get out. Like with the oh, merch. Like I got caught I feel stealing. like I'd come and I'd be like, nah, 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 and they'd be like, that person is crazy. No, we were actually insane. My friend was trans at the time. Hey Carmen, she also has a podcast. At the time. Well, she was like just starting her transition. Okay. Like we were like, all right, you're trans now. We gotta go get you a fucking padded bra, bitch. And we rolled into Victoria's Secret, and the lady like, we were like, where are your padded bras? And the lady was like, You were wearing one too? No. They said, We we rolled into Victoria's Secret and we were like, Where are your padded bras? Oh. We asked her, Oh, where are they? Where are they? I was like, in We the were store. wearing your padded bras. Like, and then she's like, Well, what like, level of padding do you want? And my friend Carp is like, A hundred percent. Like, Bombshell. The, but, like basically, we needed, we were asking for chicken cutlets at Victoria's Secret. Like, we were like, the, the bombshell was like are... literally fake. It was like, Yeah. Just padding. So then the lady's like, I know you're about to steal this padded. Like, I'm not going to show you where the bra is that you're about to steal. How did she know? I don't know, Diva. We were in there with... we were Ski masks. I'm like... <laughs> I was like a punk little crust punk bitch back in the day. Mm. I know I look prim and proper, but you guys don't... I'm like a punk, like a real deal. Right. We were in there with fucking like, ski masks. Yeah. <laughs> no, we had like crunchy tote bags and shit. We'd be like, where's like scudgy, like stoned, like probably smelled like weed. I don't know. Mm. They knew. Right. And then my other friends would like the way we would take Gap for all it's worth. Like my God, we would go back to the house and they would go online Gap. because it was just there. There <laughs> just was a Gap, and it was just like all right, well. And also, a lot of those stores had like a no chase policy. Oh. And like, also, if I worked at a Gap, I'd be like, How do you know their policies, babe? I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. Let's just say that. Okay. I'm not. I'm taking responsibility, but I'm also saying. This is just the crowd that I ran with, like, did this, looked it up, and then they would go home. That's me now. And search. You sure about that? Search for the clothes they stole and, like, calculate how much they just got away with. Yeah. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? I was there. Oh. Oh, you calculated. I thought you meant they calculated. No, we would go 
from the gap to their house and they would go on the so computer. It was like a thrill. It was like there was a thrill moment. Clothing. Hell no, we didn't need shit. It was a thrill and it was like punk and it was like fuck these corporations vibes and it was like Yeah, I don't think I've ever really Also got caught twice. Oof. Once at Walmart and once at Urban Outfitters. Walmart? We were stealing. They used to have hard candy makeup at Walmart. Okay. Bitch. They had these marbleized blushes, blushers. Mm. Work. The hard candy relaunch in whatever, 2014. Wow. Amazing. Urban Outfitters, I could see. That was popular. Urban Outfitters. The and they stopped me and they're like, come with me. And I'm like, I was like, what are you, Where did they what take are, you? What are you talking about? They're like, you need to come with me right now. I was like, what, what do you mean? Why? They're like, we need to see your bag right now. And I'm like, okay, well, there is some things I bought here last week in this bag. And they're like, do you have the receipt? Oh. And I'm like, well, no. That's a smart thing to say. And then my boyfriend at the time saw that I was getting fully detained and like, was like, and like took, we had full coach purses also. Like, why are we carrying around giant coach purses? <laughs> Like classic flap person. Okay. Like gorgeous. We got them at the Goodwill. Okay. Probably stole those too. <laughs> but um, my boyfriend at the time, hey Derek, literally scurried around and dumped his entire bag of stuff out. I was like, I, wouldn't, I wasn't with her. I wasn't doing anything. Wow. And then. Did you guys break up? Yeah, well, eventually. I mean, because I, of that? No, 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 no. Oh my God, if someone did that to me, I'd be like, fuck. Like, if you, even you did that to me, I'd be like, literally, well, fuck luckily, yourself. Luckily, I'm not shoplifting anymore. I've, I grew out of that phase at 15. That's crazy. Yeah, I've never done that. I did just get a criminal speeding ticket with you, though. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, leaving. Where were we? Were we in Palm Springs? We're in Palm Springs. For Pride. Yes, and I was driving. So fun. Worth which it. also, no tea, a freeway, you would think it's like 80, like I can go 80 now. What were you going? 80, like two. But apparently, and it was 80? Apparently, on a freeway, I, I had to go to traffic school because of my <laughs> criminal speeding ticket. Do you remember when SpongeBob has to go to traffic school? Yeah, one toe on the wheel or the pedal. <laughs> But, like, I literally, like, fully had to take traffic school. And I guess if you're on a highway, that's, like, no divider. And it's four things. It's 65 miles an hour. Who follows these rules? To me, that seems like you should be faster than when a divider is there. Like, but, yeah. No, so, babe. They have so a I was going 60, 70, We were driving 80. safe. We I was going, safe. like, almost 30 miles an hour over the freeway, the speed limit. That's fucking crazy. So I had to take full traffic school and I was like watching the videos and then I was like, mm, I think I could just pass these tests. So I just like <laughs> clicked all the tests and I killed it. A hundred. A hundred? Yeah, I know. All Congrats! Of... Well, I just updated Let's my- Let's celebrate that! Well, I just updated my ID and stuff. So like I just took the California license. Like I literally live at the DMV. Wow. I should well, be like a tutor for people wanting to get their license or something as a side that hustle. That could be a side gig. Um- I think it was totally worth it in Palm Springs. We had so much fun that trip. And it was hilarious getting pulled over to me. For you. <laughs> I should have made you take it with me. I'm a good driver. Me too. I was just no, going fast. No, you're not. I am you're so good. You're the scariest driver I've ever... No, your second, your second scariest driver. Who, oh, yeah. <laughs> the first one is that random guy. No. He's not random. He's actually our friend. I literally am a great driver. I'm just aggressive. Babe, when you're in a hurry, I'm... It's terrifying i'm just aggressive you're like fucking cruella deville bat out of hell you're like move you fucking faggot mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'm like babe there there's a someone crossing the street move and i also like uh, in la you just have to go like no one's gonna let you in so you just have to go yeah but you're you can't just so like aggressive. slowly merge in la unless like you're lame like you have to go so i'm like this you always <laughs> put the wrong hand up when you do that Whatever. It's so hard. <laughs> well, I'm talking... I'm like, a J? Like, what? Okay, no, but, like, to me, that spells loser. And that's all I'm doing life for is for me, you know? Oh, my God. Wait, also my blisters? I didn't even show you. Oh, my God. You were wearing new shoes last night at Madonna. Yeah. Oh! Wait. Oh! Wait, look at that. Ah! And then look at this. It's like the SpongeBob... Two. I popped them today. I popped them today. But Pop I took, them corns and feed the children. I took photos before I popped them. It was scary. Is that even a reference people know anymore? No. Pop the corns and feed the children? It's a relic of the past. Um, Is it about... It's about popping your blisters. Is it from 
The Crows. The Crows? I don't know. I just named a random <laughs> no, a movie. It's not. Jasmine Masters. Oh. Icon, legend, star. Ew, was she talking about Pete? No, Miss. Well, she does, and then Miss Fame. Never mind. Well, you looked amazing. I love how you matched your outfit to Madonna's outfit on purpose, didn't you? You little Leo freak. Well, I had that outfit and I lost the pasties for it. Oh. So I like never wear it. Mm. Um, but I was like, I don't need pasties for this moment. And it looks so cute. Next it looks her. great. I'm like, well, just always got a one up me, don't you, gal? You got detox, you got mistress, you got drunk, you had a matching mm. outfit. We got drunk and made the best time. We did have a good time. It was great. Yeah, it was so fun. And you looked amazing. I sang La Isla Bonita. You literally looked amazing. I did. I wore this wig. Oh, this wig has touched Madonna. <gasps> yes. Buy it now on the eBay sale. <laughs> no, truly. <laughs> well, wow. So much has happened. So much. I don't even know. We went on the most wild, buck wild tangent ever. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of No, no Gorge. See you next week. Hi, Gorge. No, no Gorge.